I've been working in Camberwell for the past several years. For as long as I can remember, I've always been kind of drawing, sculpting, making. My mother used to paint and sculpt and do some drawing and illustration. Her artwork uh, kind of always a backdrop to my childhood. Originally, when I was approached by John Smedley, I kind of had in mind kind of the layering and weaving of lines. I kind of was thinking of, of drawings kind of heavily cross-hatched and kind of layers building up and kind of becoming denser and thicker. Um, and this was tying into the project I've been working on the previous year, where I'd been doing charcoal and steel drawings and the the steel would mimic the charcoal lines that I'd been making on the paper. And there was this kind of wonderful interaction between the kind of two-dimension and the three-dimensional. The kind of sculptures would behave like the drawings at distance, kind of flatten off and become as kind of in, insubstantial as, as charcoal on paper. The visit to the mill was, was fascinating. It was a kind of far more labour intensive and kind of complex process than I'd imagined it would be. And the piece became more about the experience of, of being shown around the mill. It's kind of a labyrinth of, of staircases and halls and courtyards, and great big machine rooms, kind of canteens. Um, you're kind of being led backwards and forwards in time. I wanted to capture this kind of this wandering backwards and forwards, both kind of the visuals of, of the the threads entering the machine, kind of the multiple threads becoming one. So I've been using steel rods, and I will be using wood for the bases mostly for a practical purpose. They're kind of the closest approximation to kind of the charcoal line that I can find. And I cut them up at various lengths and use them as kind of pre-made lines that I kind of patch well together very quickly. They kind of allow for a maximum play um, so that the sculpture can kind of behave, at least in the making, as if it were a stream of consciousness I kind of try and recall elements from, from the mill visit and kind of react kind of to that as I'm working. So I particularly liked about the project was that it gave me the opportunity to kind of pick up a project I've been doing kind of last year kind of and get it realised, have a space outside the studio for it to go and give it have kind of a sense of purpose that it hadn't before when I was kind of playing around with the idea. It kind of gave it like a substance or a body for me to, to work into.